Hello, everybody, fellow artists, students, etc. Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, um, hand study tutorial. This this painting here is by uh, J. C. Liondecker, who I plan to do for my next artist spotlight. And basically, what I'm doing is going over it and figuring out a basic frame uh, because I want to do a study of this, and I don't want to be, and I'm not trying to be too accurate, but uh, somewhat accurate. So I think. Um, Kind of like outlining a frame ahead of time so that I can um, simplify what it is that I'm going to draw. And you'll see why this comes in handy in a moment. Um, and basically all this is doing is kind of uh, like figuring out what the, what you know, kind of like the, the blanket around uh, the form is going to be. And you can see this kind of approach in the Charles Barg uh, studies that were in the master courses back in the day. Um, and within these shapes, you can sub subdivide them into smaller shapes like I'm doing here. Um, from this, you can um, simplify things into pretty geometric, almost polygonal um, things. And this is something that you can reference when you're copying uh, the thing. Now, I could do another approach where I just kind of eyeball it and, and um, you know, make up my own hand that's pretty close and that works too. Uh, this is just kind of one approach, one of many different approaches you can do to study. And this is my approach on how I, well, at least one approach I can, you know, share with everybody of how to study an existing painting. Uh, one thing I'm looking for, mostly the reason I chose this hand is because um, as you're seeing right now, each finger has like three facets. You have the, the side, which I'm outlining here. Um, and that's the side that's kind of um, facing us and then there's the top and that's kind of a different facet um, and I think it, being able to pay attention to these things specifically like this right here is also a facet but not a, it's more subtle than the fingers but noticing these things allow you to remember that the finger is like a, a three-dimensional shape with form um, and as you see, like all I'm doing is just kind of just taking notes on top of the existing painting. Um, and then I'll use this as a sort of guide for when I do my version. And uh, you know, there's uh, so many different ways to do this that it, it really doesn't matter. Um, but this is kind of like, you'll see like, cause I open up a new window here, right? And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make that smaller. And in the new, so I'm lowering the opacity so that I'm seeing more of just that outline thing. And right here, I'm, you know, sort of eyeballing. So this line is kind of in that angle, and like that is the top of the finger there. And this is kind of um, at this angle. And th the key is to imagine there's a vertical um, so that you can kind of um, imagine what angle the, the, the lines are pointing because. Um, if you imagine that there's a vertical line, you can kind of mentally measure against it. Like, okay, this next line is going to be, you know, 45 degrees or more of an acute angle or obtuse, etc. Now, no, it's a bit complex and probably requires more explaining, but you know, that's something to keep in mind. Um, so again, so for this, it's not really meant to be too accurate, but rather um, just an eyeball suggestive, like, you know, here's the bottom of the palm. Uh, and you know, there's a certain shape, triangular shape. And if you've seen my photo studies tutorial from way back when, uh, you know I'm all about the shapes and you can find triangles within triangles within triangles. Um, whereas this way, it's kind of like looking for uh, those shapes and there's those shapes that exist within negative space. Um, that's a pretty important thing to pay attention to. And already you can kind of see that um, it, it you know rem resembles at least somewhat of uh, the reference, and I think, uh, and I end up changing it later. But you know, just having a, a starting point, even if it's wrong or not perfect, it's it's okay. Just having something to kind of work from. Um, and I've, I often get a lot of requests to do a hand tutorial. Um, now this is how to paint a hand from an existing study or an existing painting um, what I think to really explain how to draw hands I would have to do a full-on breakdown of, of kind of like the way you you can think about hands and, I, and Sekra actually just um, 
made a video uh, with his his uh, breakdown of anatomy and it covers hands pretty well um, and I may add my uh, you know take on it as well in the future of how to draw hands so um, you know it, it's more like like what I'm doing right now it's just I'm not trying to draw a hand rather I'm looking at the shapes and trying to emulate them um, I mean I know that those are fingers but that's not what I'm trying to do because if I get caught up in what the content is then uh, then it's it's problematic because I'm like oh this is supposed to look like a finger it doesn't have to it's not supposed to have that shape and then like that could just screw up everything um, anyway all right what you're seeing now is uh, I'm kind of just tracing the outline of the existing um, frame that I had um, but I, I'm not exactly uh, you know tracing it perfectly I'm kind of editing and kind of moving things around because uh, some of the shapes are weren't perfect and I'm kind of eyeballing it so um, again I'm not going for super accuracy but rather just kind of making it feel somewhat close and I went ahead and turned off the other layer and now I'm kind of just picking the colors and this is kind of a warm orange-ish color um, so I can start laying it in um, and I just dabbed it uh, a little bit but I actually made a layer underneath that to try and get that background it's kind of like a pinkish almost yellowish thing and I did had to do it in a couple layers because I thought I had it right at first but I realized it was more gray um, and so yeah I'm, on another layer I'm just blocking in um, the uh, kind of like a, a mid value tone and on this I can go dark well I guess I'm going light there kind of just getting some variation but now I'm selecting a dark color um, and it's kind of a dark orange it's probably not exactly what it is in the painting but I know that this these sides of the facets are dark and on the top side it's gonna be light and I mean you could sort of just see it coming along those three steps in terms of uh, middle and then dark and then light um, and from that you just start defining the forms and here I'm adding a little bit of hue variation on the on each side of it the top side getting a bit of cool and, and on the bottom side uh, that's facing us is more yellowish or warm um, and you can kind of do that everywhere um, now it's not exactly it's not happening exactly the same way it is as it is in the painting uh, but I'm trying to kind of interpret it in my own way um, because if I was gonna try to do the exact brush strokes then it just be a, kind of a waste of time for what I'm intending to learn um, and so yeah I mean I put those highlights in um, it's not the exact same shape as in the painting but it doesn't matter for me I just want to learn well, you know which part of the finger is going to catch that highlight um, and I'm using uh, the, the mixer brush here and there to blend stuff a little bit um, like that and you can get that in, in, in the brush pack that is always in the description well sometimes I forget it but whatever um, and yeah just kind of going over things and, and um, brushing lightly on a it's all in the same layer and it, it I don't I didn't plan on taking it much further than this because I kind of got what I wanted and what I wanted to learn is the the facet breakup and I talk about Lion Decker a lot and how I learned from the hands and that's the main thing that I picked up from his hands also you know the shape design of it anyway I hope that helped and uh, you know if, if you um, enjoyed this just you know look forward to, to more of these and I do want to do a JC Lion Decker artist spotlight soon. So uh, if you want to stay up to date, you can follow on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. God, I don't know. I still don't know how to use Twitter. I really don't. Like um, to this day, I'm just like, what is the point? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope to see you guys next time, next week. All right, click.